You know, I've actually had some of my professional photography friends get angry with me when I suggest that maybe they might want to try a second camera to take on a shoot with them. Wedding photographers, event photographers say, well, I'm using big premium HDSLR cameras, big premium lenses. How am I supposed to shoot both photo and video with that? Well, look, I understand. Sometimes on pro cameras, it's difficult to flip them between shooting stills and going back to shooting video. Okay, well, if your camera is something that you're very comfortable with, terrific. If not, take a look at some of the smaller cameras. Now, don't be afraid of these little compact system cameras. and Their performance is actually pro quality. Now, this is a $500 camera with a $500 lens on it. So this is a super fisheye ultra wide lens that creates beautiful video. Now, you don't have to go out and buy a second or a third pro camera if you want to. Blending the video that you shoot with your pro camera, then you shoot with your non-pro camera, actually has some really cool creative effects. We're seeing technology, big technology, being crammed into small packages. So, if you think you need a second camera in order to get a second point of view, or to do just video clips when you're shooting your pro jobs, look at a smaller camera that you can access really quick. One of the benefits of the non-pro or the small pro size cameras is the fact that you can get them off a belt, out of a purse, out of a case really quick to grab shots that you may not be able to get with that bigger camera. So be, be open-minded. There's lots of cool things that we can do with video technology. You should stay on top of all of them.